Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to import and export the customer invoices in Odoo 17. So, importing and exporting of the customer invoices can vary depending on the specific context and need of the business. Importing invoices can be due to the in integration with the other system, bulk processing, data cleaning and standardization, fraud prevention and so on. And exporting of the invoices are due to archiving and record keeping, share with the third parties, data analysis and reporting. Now let's see how can we import and export customer invoices in Odoo 17. Let's move on to the customers tab and you can choose the invoices where you can find all the available invoices over here. So I'll be choosing uh, the invoice over here and as I choose the invoice you can see uh, a button called action will be triggered here. So you can uh, just click on export first because uh, we need to customize the fields that we want. So you can just use import compatible export. This has got several advantages that this will uh, give the external IDs, which means uh, if you just enable, I want to update data import compatible export, then uh, uh, Odoo will automatically match or map the uh, file columns with the Odoo field. And this also avoids the duplications of the in, uh, data that we are importing as well as you can also just export the files in XLS file or CSV file. And you can see uh, the available fields on the uh, left side and the fields to export on the right side. Now you can also use the template. So templates are nothing but, so if you want to just export the customer invoices with certain field multiple times, uh, you don't need to uh, just, um, yeah, take the uh, fields that to export from the scratch. Rather, you can just template it so you can just use the template multiple times um, and uh, you can just uh, see we have already created a template which is a customer invoices where you can find that we require the name uh, or the number that is the sequence number of the invoice and we need to get the partner name as well as the uh, payment term, journal, invoice, lines, account, uh, then currency, product uh, as well as units of measurement, then unit, unit uh, price. Now we also need to get the bill date. So you can just for uh, search for the bill date. So you can find uh, the invoice or bill date over here. Now you can just add that so that uh, that will be added from available field to fields to export. Now we also need to get uh, the quantity in the invoice. So you can just search for invoice and you would be able to find the invoice lines over here. So as you just unfold the invoice lines, you would be able to find all the fields that are available in the invoice lines. So as you just drag down, you could find that the invoices quantity. So everything is arranged in alphabetic order. So it is very easy to find uh, the fields that you want to get from a particular um, area or from a particular section. So let's uh, drag down and you would be able to find that the invoice lines uh, quantity and you can just click on plus icon so that that will be added over here. Now we can just export the file and we can see the file is exported and now let's review the file and change uh, the data from it and let's enter uh, multiple products into or we need to just import multiple products into our um, data database um, in a single invoice. So let's check that. So for that you can just close this and let's move on to the CSV file or uh, the XLS files that we have just downloaded. So as we have just uh, downloaded in XLS, the file will be in XLS format. Now if you can see the um, number, partner, payment terms and everything. So let me change the sequence number. Let's change the sequence number uh, of the invoice as 1000. And here you can just change the partner. So let me change the partner as Dilna. And here you can find the payment term. So I'll be using the same payment term and all. And you can also find the customer invoices. And we are going to use the same uh, invoice lines account that is uh, product sale as well as you can find the currency uh, as uh, USD. And here you can just change the product. So here let me change the product as table, chair as well as wooden uh, stool. So you can just change the records which is table share and here we want wooden stool 
So uh, we will need to get the units of measurement in units. So you can just give that as well as you can find the prices over here. And uh, you can just change the invoice uh, date. Um, yeah, we have already given an invoice date uh, as this date uh, is of today. We are not going to change that. And here you can also set the quantity. So let me set the quantity over here. Uh, so we actually require table with one quantity and um, uh, chair with uh, four quantity. And we want wooden stool uh, with uh, two quantity. So once we have made the changes in the file, you can just save this. Uh, and we can just import this records into our uh, Odoo database. So here I'm going to just uh, use the Odoo and uh, we first need to uncheck this record. So uh, then only we can just import the record. Now let's move on to the gear icon and choose the import record where you can just upload the file. Uh, so I'm going to just import uh, and here you can find that the file column uh, with the Odoo fields uh, over here. Now let's click on test because we need to check whether there are any errors in this file. So you can see that no matching record found for the name Dilna because we don't have uh, any previous uh, partner with a uh, name Dilna. So we need to just create a new value so that the uh, partner will be created there. And here you can find that we don't have uh, no matching record found for the name table. We don't have a product table and on. So we need to create a new record for that. and. Afterwards, you can just again click on test to find are there any error um, while importing. So here you can see that we have just corrected all the errors and everything seems to be valid. Now you can just import the records over here. So let's click on import and you can see we have just imported one um, record and you can find the invoice reference number, customer name, invoice date, due date. Uh, the tags and everything and you can also find the status is uh, set to draft and when you just open this you can find uh, the product that we have just imported uh, along with the label um, its account quantity price and everything is shown over here and you can also uh, clearly visible uh, with the reference of the uh, customer invoice over here so this is how we manage with the ex exporting and importing of the customer invoices in Odoo uh, and if you want any Odoo customization or um, you need any Odoo tutorials videos, uh, feel free to contact Cybrosis. So hope this concept is clear. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.